Once in a bygone era, a gentleman called Ethan visited Gautam Buddha to seek wisdom and counsel. Ethan was facing challenges in his life, feeling disoriented, perplexed, and hesitant about what lay ahead. He came to Buddha burdened with sorrow, earnestly requesting assistance. Buddha attentively listened to Ethan's plight, empathizing with the anguish evident in his words. Understanding that Ethan required transformation, and desiring to guide him towards relief from his suffering. Buddha mentored Ethan and imparted crucial habits that had the potential to transform his life indefinitely. The initial habit discussed was the significance of mindfulness, emphasizing the necessity for Ethan to attentively observe his thoughts, speech, and deeds in order to instigate change. Initially perplexed, Ethan sought clarification on the concept of mindfulness from Buddha who serenely explained it as the act of acknowledging one's thoughts and feelings without bias or fixation. Buddha requested Ethan to begin by sitting quietly for a few minutes daily and concentrating on his breathing. He directed Ethan to observe his thoughts as they arose and passed, without becoming entangled in them. Ethan experimented with this method and discovered that it aided him in feeling more serene, centered, and less responsive. The power of gratitude was the second habit that Buddha imparted to Ethan. Buddha instructed him that in order to transform his life, he must nurture a mindset of thankfulness. Initially doubtful, Ethan questioned Buddha about the relevance of gratitude during challenging times. In response, Buddha explained with a smile that gratitude serves as the gateway to happiness. By directing attention towards one's possessions rather than lacks, an individual generates a positive aura that draws greater prosperity into their life. Buddha requested Ethan to begin by creating a list of five things he felt thankful for every day. Initially, Ethan struggled with this task, but with consistent practice, he observed an increase in his gratitude towards the positive aspects of his life. The third habit that Buddha imparted to Ethan was the importance of forgiveness. Buddha conveyed to him that in order to transform his life, Ethan must release the past and pardon those who had inflicted pain upon him. Initially hesitant, Ethan expressed to Buddha his inability to forgive those responsible for his suffering. In response, Buddha kindly explained that forgiveness is primarily for oneself rather than for others. Clinging on to anger and bitterness only causes self-inflicted harm. Forgiveness serves as a self-given gift. Buddha requested Ethan to begin by composing a forgiveness letter to an individual who had previously caused him harm. Ethan encountered difficulty with this task, yet while crafting the letter, he experienced a feeling of ease and freedom. The fourth habit that Buddha imparted to Ethan was the importance of self-care. Buddha emphasized the significance of attending to one's physical, mental, and emotional well-being as a means to transform one's life. Ethan, taken aback by this counsel, inquired why he should prioritize self-care over aiding others in need around the world. In response, Buddha reassured him with a smile, stating that self-care is not an act of selfishness, but rather a vital necessity. By nurturing oneself, individuals cultivate the energy and capacity required to support those around them. Buddha requested Ethan to begin by creating a roster of self-care tasks that brought him joy, like indulging in a soothing bath, strolling amidst nature, or immersing himself in a captivating book. Ethan discovered that dedicating time to self-care left him feeling revitalized and better equipped to confront the obstacles in his life. The fifth habit that Buddha imparted to Ethan was the importance of service. Buddha conveyed to him that in order to transform his life, he must engage in serving others with compassion and kindness. Initially puzzled, Ethan questioned why he should prioritize helping others when he himself required assistance. Buddha responded with a smile, explaining that service unlocks joy. By assisting others, one generates positive energy that enriches both oneself and those who are served. Buddha requested Ethan to begin by volunteering at a nearby charity or performing a small act of kindness daily, like smiling at a stranger or assisting someone in need. Ethan discovered that serving others gave him a newfound sense of purpose and satisfaction that was previously unknown to him. As Ethan honed these routines, he started to observe a notable change in his life. He experienced increased mindfulness, gratitude, forgiveness, self-awareness, and compassion. He sensed a deeper connection with himself, 
those around him, and the environment. Although his difficulties and obstacles persisted, he found himself better prepared to address them gracefully and effortlessly. One day, Ethan came back to Buddha with tears of appreciation in his eyes. He expressed his gratitude to Buddha for his guidance and wisdom, explaining how these practices had transformed his life permanently. Ethan informed Buddha that he had discovered serenity, happiness, and direction in his life, emphasizing his eternal thankfulness. Buddha grinned and mentioned that the ability to alter your life resides within you. These routines serve as mere instruments to assist you in unleashing your inner capabilities. Persist in practicing them with belief and commitment, and you will persist in reshaping your life in ways surpassing your wildest dreams. Ethan departed from Buddha's company, feeling a fresh sense of optimism and potential. He understood that his path had not reached its conclusion, yet he felt appreciative for encountering an instructor who had illuminated the way for him. He vowed to persist in adopting these routines and impart them to individuals seeking direction and assistance. And thus, the heritage of Gautam Buddha and his lessons persisted in disseminating worldwide, impacting the experiences of countless individuals and motivating them to embrace a more attentive, appreciative, pardoning, self-conscious and empathetic existence. You possess the ability to alter your life. It might appear daunting or unattainable occasionally, but it all starts with making incremental progress towards the life you seek. It may require time, perseverance and commitment, yet the voyage is rewarding. Remember Ethan's story and how he changed his life through embracing these habits. You have the power to do the same. Begin by incorporating gratitude, forgiveness, mindfulness, self-awareness and compassion into your daily life. While it might seem difficult initially, over time and with dedication, it will seamlessly integrate into your everyday schedule. When serving others, you not only assist them, but also benefit yourself. By generating positive energy, you draw more positivity into your own life. Simple acts of kindness can create a ripple effect, spreading love and compassion to those in your vicinity. It is simple to become engrossed in the busyness of life and overlook caring for ourselves. Make sure to allocate time for self-care and self-affection. You are worthy of giving importance to your wellness and engaging in activities that bring you happiness and serenity. In times of hardship or challenge, keep in mind that you are not on your own. Connect with family and friends, ask for assistance, and adopt these routines. They will assist you in maneuvering through tough situations gracefully and effortlessly. The path to transformation might not constantly be simple, yet it holds value. Have faith in your own self and your capacity to alter your existence. Above all, keep in mind that the ability to modify your life resides inside you. It requires bravery to alter your life, to venture beyond your comfort zone, and to initiate the initial move towards a fresh start. However, recognize that you possess greater potential than you could possibly fathom. Have faith in yourself and your skills and have confidence that the cosmos will lead you to your genuine calling. There might be challenges and hurdles on the path, yet they serve as chances for development and education. Utilize them as building blocks towards your aspirations and persist in pursuing the life you are worthy of. Remember that transformation starts with small actions. Begin by integrating these routines into your everyday life and observe how they alter your reality. With consistent practice, you will detect a change in your vitality and perspective. And if you ever feel disoriented or unsure, recall the tale of Gautam Buddha and his lessons. Allow his insight to lead you towards a life that is more attentive, appreciative, forgiving, self-aware, and empathetic. It's always possible to transform your life, no matter how far along you are on your path. You have the ability to initiate a new direction towards a more promising tomorrow, the capability to alter your life resides inside of you. Are you prepared to embark on this journey today? Appreciation for considering it.